Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate a Power BI data-driven alert with a Power Automate flow that triggers an email once that data-driven alert is set off. So first and foremost, a Power BI data-driven alert is an alert to notify you when data in one of your dashboards changes beyond a limit that you set. And without integrating it into this Power Automate flow, it can only send you an email or it'll go into your notification center up here. So we need to use this Power Automate flow to trigger emails to other people. If let's say your, your manager or your director wants to know uh, if total costs up here is exceeding something um, that they might be concerned about. And the first thing that we need to know is that Power BI data-driven alerts only work on three different visualizations. We have cards, gauges, and KPIs. And so I have three different cards here on this very simple dashboard, and we're gonna go with the example of total costs. So I wanna know, or my boss wants to know, if total costs exceed $20 million, and we wanna trigger an email to that person if that happens. And so I need the first step for this is to create that data-driven alert. So I'm gonna go up to the ellipses here and manage alerts. And I have to create a new one and give it a title. So total costs, and we'll say total costs critical is the name that I want to give it. And the condition, I want it to be triggered if total costs exceed negative $20 million. So because the negative we want below 20 million. And then I also want to send or turn off the send me an email too, because I'll just build that into the flow that um, gets triggered once this uh, alert is set off. So I will uncheck that box, hit save and close, and I'll just quickly validate that that got saved. In here I can see it, and I can also change the threshold if that ever changes. Now let's save again. So the next step I want to do is to create the Power Automate flow. And so I'll just navigate on over to my Power Automate window and I will create an automated cloud flow. And the first thing I need to do is give it a name and I'll call the same thing, total costs, oops, total costs, critical. And then I wanna choose a trigger. So a trigger is something that triggers the flow, uh, an action that triggers the flow. So for this, it's the Power BI data-driven alert getting set off. So Power BI data-driven alert, I'm gonna check that box and I'm going to hit create. We want to select an alert ID. So because I'm logged in with the same credentials that I did with Power BI, this should integrate well. And I'll see total costs critical is the name of the alert ID that I gave. And so our first step is already done. So the next step is to trigger an email once this Power BI data-driven alert is triggered. So I'm going to insert a new step. And I need to select which option I, I want. And so mail is right here. If I had a different kind of mailbox, let's say I had Google or I was using Office 365, that is there as well. But I'll just hit mail and then I'll choose the latest version. And who do I want to send this to? You can list any amount of email addresses in here just for the sake of this example. I'll use my own email, gpeterson phdata.io. Then I need to send a subject and I'll call this the same thing, total costs critical. And we need to have a body for the email. And so this will just be really simple. And I will say the costs have exceeded $20 million. And that's it. And then I will hit save. And that is saved. And now anytime that that Power BI data-driven alert is set off, so anytime that that card exceeds negative $20 million or goes below negative $20 million, this Power Automate flow will be triggered and I will get an email and anybody else that I add in here will get an email as well saying that the total costs are critical and that the costs have exceeded $20 million.